All right, welcome to my How Is It Reactive series. In this episode, I'll be covering the Spire's Reach wrap. So as you can see, this is unlocked at tier 86 on the Battle Pass, and this goes with the tier 100 skin, the Spire Assassin. And this is both animated and reactive. So in the locker here, you can clearly see the animation. There's this blue pulse that trickles down the weapon, not quite to the butt of the gun, but almost. So I imagine maybe something will illuminate when we shoot the weapon, but we're gonna find out for sure. Here we go, the Spire Assassin's Wrap. Again, as you can see, there is that blue animation that comes towards you, and it's very faint. I mean, you can clearly notice it, but it's not as bright as you would expect. And then the color scheme on the weapon, I would say is a metallic gray or silver. It does match her quite nicely, but she has that very, very bright blue and purple flame effect all over her body, even on the front of her, you can see. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this matches. So here we go, let's see how it's reactive. Oh boy. Well, basically, the same area that's animated and trickles in the animation just lights up momentarily. And it's super quick too. You shoot it and then boom, it's gone. And it looks like it freezes the animation when you shoot. So only when you stop shooting does the animation still work. So, mm, I'm gonna be honest here, that's a little disappointing. I mean, there's not much else they could have done with it, but still, it's not very bright. I guess we'll have to see in the dark. But in my opinion, that is a little disappointing. Compare it to something like Clux Wrap, which I did a review on already, and that thing not only lasted for four seconds every time you shot it, but it changed the entire color scheme of the weapon. And this is just illuminating something that's already animated. They could have done something a little different here. They didn't have to make it illuminate the animated part already. They should have been separate. But I guess I'm nitpicking here. It's just for a tier 100 skin, you would expect a little bit more. So here it is on the tack. See, I can't even notice it there. What am I looking at here? Okay, let's try the primal weapons. Okay, at least you can see it on this one. Now, of course, with the primal and makeshift weapons, there's all kinds of what I call fluff on the weapons, such as that yellow portion and the bony portion. So it kind of conceals wraps a little bit. How about on the makeshift? Yeah, it's just very faint and so hard to see. I bet you can't even see it at all on the bow. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Is it because I charged that up? Okay, no. So actually, you can see it very well on the bow. Look at that. That's the animation. Oh, yeah. So it's like the best on the bow. Every other reactive wrap I've done on a bow looks terrible. But this one, pretty sweet. So when you shoot it, it almost electrifies. I like that. Nice. Okay. A little bit of redemption there. Okay, so now let's wait until nightfall. All right, here comes the night effect. We'll watch the animation first. Ooh, it looks like a frozen icy blue now, so that at least looks a little better. Let's shoot it. Ah, it's still pretty faint though. I don't know, maybe it'll look better in replay mode, but it could be my PS5 graphics. Sometimes the wraps look a little disappointing and they look a lot better on the PS4. It's not a bad rap by any means. It's just, I feel like it should be more vibrant, more brighter. How about on the bow? So the bow still looks good. The shockwave bow really matches this character. I love this. So you can see the smooth animation effect right there. And the color scheme does match. It's pretty nice. But look at the illumination or the reactivity there. It's just not as impressive as what I would like for a tier 100 skin. It does light up and it is reactive and it is animated. So it has all the features of a great wrap. The color scheme is good. I just wish it did a little more, but some people would probably disagree because you don't want to really stand out all the time. And like I mentioned, this character has a lot of flair to it, a lot of standout-ish effects. So maybe that's why they went a little bit light on the reactivity here. Here's the tech shotgun. So this is the one I couldn't really see at all when I was actually shooting it, but you can clearly see it here. I thought her fingertips were lighting up as well, but I think that was just part of the reactivity. So it doesn't look bad on the primal shotgun there. 
the whole underside pretty much lights up. And you can see it through the yellow bone carving as well, which is nice. So usually the primal weapons look really bad with wraps, but that one wasn't too bad at all. Uh, that's okay, a little bit small. Here's the bow. You can see it's just the inside portions and then the top are almost a Kevin the Cube color. And there when I shot it, it illuminated those pretty bright. Yeah, that's not bad at all. All right, let's check out at nighttime. Oh, I tell you what, she definitely looks a lot better in the dark. Look at all that gleam coming from her. So let's see if the reactivity is a little more bright. Yeah, it's not bad. You can definitely notice it a lot better in the dark. This reminds me of Tron for some reason. I don't know if this would match the Tron skins or not, but it looks pretty good. So not the best wrap, like I said, but decent enough, and it matches the character pretty nicely. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated, and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is favorite time.